In today's hyper-competitive and complex world, companies are left with two options, transform or get left behind. However, digital transformation without end-to-end -end process understanding is akin to performing brain surgery while wearing a blindfold. This is where Salonis comes in. Our market-leading execution management system, EMS, allows you to control transformation costs and scope, minimize project risks, and maximize value realization to deliver the expected business outcomes. When approaching system transformations, we face processes that are not only interconnected, but run across various source systems and company levels. Understanding all of the interdependencies are critical to realizing successful transformation. Salonis gives you the necessary end-to-end -end process transparency across your entire organization and enables you to drive true business value. Let's jump in and see how. With Salonis, understanding how your processes work is very easy. Our marketplace provides 85 plus out-of-the-box process connectors for 35 plus source systems, such as SAP, Oracle, or Microsoft. In addition, it also contains 300 plus pre-built apps, including transformation-specific analyses, giving you the fastest time to value. While the EMS supports all types of systems transformation, let's have a look at a transformation from SAP ECC to S4 HANA today, focusing on the procurement process. Let's jump into the role of Laura, our IT transformation specialist. After applying process intelligence to the data stored across source systems, Salonis reconstructs a complete digital twin of the procurement process by tracking every PO item in real time. This allows her to understand how the procurement process is executed in reality. First, we see the most common path of our process. Starting from the creation of the purchase requisition item in SAP to the delivery processed in a custom warehouse management system to clearing the invoice in Baseware. Thereby, we see all process interdependencies across our organization and IT landscape. With Salonis, we can even compare how our process runs across different instances of the same system. For example, the creation of purchase requisitions happens in three different SAP instances, with significant variations in throughput time. This is an important finding, as we want to consolidate our system landscape during the system transformation to reduce complexity. As we continue to expand our view, more deviations surface, and we see an ocean of inefficiency emerge. This is the true complexity caused by a very fragmented and complex landscape. This visibility would have otherwise taken thousands of FTE hours and millions of dollars in consulting fees for a static, incomplete, and very subjective snapshot of reality. But Laura has Salonis to give her a 100% objective process understanding within minutes. Now Laura can automatically export, document, and adjust business process models in a matter of a few clicks, which can then be deployed more widely as a best practice during the rollout. Laura saw from analyzing the procurement process that consolidating systems can have a positive impact on the throughput time. As the next step, Laura uses Salonis simulation capability to deduce the impact of standardizing the conversion of purchase requisitions to purchase orders on her process costs and resource utilization. Leveraging Salonis process intelligence, Laura can create a digital twin of her as-is process in a matter of a few clicks, and then, side by side, compare it to the what-if scenario. By implementing the best practice process model, Laura can decrease the throughput time by two days, and reduce the process cost by 8%. On the workload analysis, we can also see that the resource utilization of the team procurement, one, decreases significantly. This frees up resources that we can reallocate as part of our system transformation. By quantifying the impact of these changes, Laura can now develop a strong business case for the system transformation project. Laura can connect her suggested system changes directly to business outcomes, this is critical to ensuring value realization for the project. With that in mind, she starts iterating the ideal to be process model to generate optimal synergies between processes, people, and systems. In order to develop the final process template, 
Laura needs to understand the gaps between the to-be-processed model and the reality to identify meaningful deviations and the areas most affected by change. Laura immediately sees that her as-is process conforms in only 26% of the cases with the 2B model. This is an area of concern. She sees the impact of process violations on business performance. For example, an average increase in manual touches per PO from 1.8 to 4.1, impacting their labor productivity. Laura identifies the creation of free text requisitions as one of the most common process violations. With a single click, Laura can perform an automated root cause analysis, helping her to understand the business context of each violation. In this case, free text requisitions are strongly associated with specific organizations, which should be prioritized by change management initiatives. By using Salonis to iterate through the process template, Laura was able to speed up the fit gap analysis based on objective data. So far, we have looked at the business process level, but where and how are these processes actually executed by the users? This knowledge will be important to reduce project risk and maximize business value. At a user level, Laura wants to identify how customized their systems are today, which customizations are used to generate value, and therefore, qualify which customizations need to be migrated. As people in Laura's organization have been working with SAP for decades, a lot of customizations have been deployed in the form of custom transaction codes. While we could analyze all of the transaction codes, Laura for now wants to focus on the creation of purchase requisitions as part of the process that we have identified as highly impactful in our discovery and simulation. She can focus her work on high value, Laura analyzes which transaction codes are being used frequently for the creation of purchase requisitions and how they impact the process. She identifies the custom transaction code ME51C1 that is linked to a high throughput time. Drilling into this transaction code, we see exactly where in the organization it is used, causing delays in converting requisitions to purchase orders. This enables Laura to effectively approach the consolidation of transaction codes to control migration time and costs. Going one level deeper, let's analyze how this part of the process is executed on a task level. With task mining, Laura can see exactly how the users are jumping between systems by capturing desktop data and dig deeper into the root cause behind high throughput time. Laura follows the manual activities that users perform between the creation of purchase requisitions and purchase orders outside of the system of records. In this case, we see how several tasks are performed to correct inconsistencies between supplier quotes and purchase requisitions. Salona shows us how the data inconsistencies impact the throughout time and where they happen most across the organization and system landscape. Addressing the low standardized parts of the process will enrich Laura's fit gap analysis and ensure user adoption of the process in the new system. In fact, ensuring high data quality is a crucial step to increase the standardization and adoption of the process. In other words, every successful system transformation relies on a successful harmonization, consolidation, and migration of master data. Salonis not only highlights inconsistent and outdated master data, but also allows Laura to automatically remove duplicates identified by Salonis's ML-based duplicate checker in order to improve the master data quality. Salonis lists all the relevant master data objects across all source systems that should be consolidated. After having cleaned up the master data and finalized the process template, Laura is now ready to migrate to the new system. What we saw so far has been a truly data-driven approach to a system transformation journey. Laura has shown the value of the transformation, as well as streamlined and tested her to-be process template. After successfully completing the deployment of the new system, Jen, the process owner, takes over and focuses on continuously optimizing the process to drive new business value. Salonis enables Jen to closely monitor process performance in real time from day one. While analyzing the most relevant process KPIs, 
She wants to better understand the underlying issues behind the deviations from the best practice process model. Salonis automatically highlights non-conformant activities performed by the users, leading to undesired violations, such as free text requisitions. In the past, these deviations might have led to new customizations. However, with Salonis, Jen can intelligently detect and address variations before they cause issues. That's where Salonis action flows come in. This action flow detects new free text requisitions in real time and uses Salonis ML to automatically find the matching catalog items. If there is a match, the PR is automatically linked to the catalog item and converted to a PO without any manual effort. With this smart business logic, employees can focus on activities where their attention is truly needed. For example, for materials without a matching catalog item. With these automations, Jen can drive better business outcomes and be sure that inefficiencies are handled in real time before they cause problems. Coming back to the overall transformation journey, we have now seen how Laura has been able to use Salonis to control migration costs and scope, minimize the project risk, and maximize value realization. This puts Jen in the best position to continuously improve the process and achieve desired business outcomes. Thank <laughs> you.